Barbara? Well, Wolf, there were some initial signs today that things could be cooling off a little bit with the North Koreans, but then again, maybe not. A dire new warning from Kim Jong-un to foreign embassies in North Korea's capital, Pyongyang. After April 10th, the regime may not be able to protect them in the event of war. Sweden, which oversees U.S. interests in North Korea, as well as Britain and Russia, cautiously acknowledged the warning. We are very much concerned over the escalation of tension. We also asked them whether this is just a proposal or a requirement. We were told that this is only a proposal. One U.S. official called the warning weird. No one is sure what the North Koreans are trying to do. It comes as the U.S. now believes North Korea has loaded two Musadan missiles into mobile launchers and could be ready to fire them at any time from its eastern coastline. Those missiles with a 2,500-mile range theoretically could hit targets as far away as Guam and even Alaska's west coast. We would not be surprised to see them take such an action. But no one can say for sure if and when a launch might happen. The U.S. is watching two critical dates on the calendar. April 15th, the 101st birthday of Kim Il-sung, the late North Korean leader, and April 30th, when the current U.S.-South Korea military exercise ends. U.S. officials worry the regime could then feel free to launch a small-scale attack, perhaps at sea or across the border. But it's hard to really know what the North Koreans have in mind. After days of broadcasts with talk of war, for now, it's news stores, farms, and medicine on state TV. Why is all of this so important, Wolf? Well, this missile movement is so far the only substantive military movement by the North Korean regime. That's why everyone is watching it so closely. If they were to test fire these missiles and if these missiles went over Japan, this will rattle the Asian region, the economic powerhouse of the region that the world has come to depend on.